much for the great welcome and uh, thank you. I want to thank, I want to thank first of all Bert Bachmann and also Galpin Motors for hosting this great celebration. Wonderful wife chain is just where we are they right over there. Oh right over here. Okay. <laughs> Big hand to both of them. Chain and girls. And then of course I want to thank also Ken and John. Where's Ken and John? Oh back there. Where's them back there? I mean look at these guys. I mean first of all I want to thank you for, for promoting this event here. Then I want to thank you also for helping me so much on my campaign, being out there and pumping the people up and pumping me up. I want to thank you for that. The only thing that is sad about those two guys is that they are on radio. Because, I mean, look at this. Look at how handsome those guys are. Look at this. You guys, you guys should be on TV. Or maybe even movies. You know, there's a little vacuum right now in, in the action shot, right? The action package here. I think maybe you should do Terminator 4. Maybe Conan 3. Okay, he says I should hire them and they're coming. I like that kind of an attitude. But anyway, we are here today to celebrate having said hasta la vista to our increase in car tax, right? During my campaign, we crushed the car with a big, big wrecking ball in order that it's to symbolize my promise that we will wipe out and demolish the increase in the car tax. And I promised on my campaign trail, this is the first thing I'm going to do. And just like Ken and John said, this is exactly what I did. After the swearing-in ceremony this last Monday, after I took my oath, after I gave my address, my normal address, Instead of celebrating with all my friends out there, I went immediately to my office. I sat down behind the desk and I signed the first orders governor, the first executive order. And I signed the bill to repeal the tripling of the car tax. That was executive no order number one. And I kept my promise. And that's what I want to do because I want to be a governor that is an action governor. You've heard enough dialogues for the politicians. You want to have a governor that creates action. And that's what you voted for. It's a man that will create action. And I was, I despised that increase in the car tax. I think it was not fair because of the mistakes that the politicians are making up in Sacramento. When they start spending, spending, and spending, then all of a sudden they run out of money, and then what do they do? They go after you, they want to punish you. They want to say, you have to increase the car tax. Increase the car tax by 200%. It is unfair to do that. It doesn't hurt me an increase like that, as I always said. To me, they can increase it by 5,000%. It makes no difference. But what about the people that are struggling? The people that are low-income people that make 10, 15, 20,000 dollars a year. People that are barely putting food on their table. It is unfair to them to punish them. And they were not the only ones that were punished. The car dealers, like this dealership here, Car dealerships all over this state have lost sales. Their sales dropped by 33%, and some car dealerships even talked about their sales dropped by 50%. Now, is that good for the economy? When they have to lay off people, when they have to close down dealerships and all that, it's not good for the economy. What we want to do is do the opposite. We want to stimulate the economy. We want to make California again the competitive, powerful job creating machine that it once was. This is why we are here today to celebrate, to get the word out there to all Californians, to let them know that the car increase has been repealed. And that, yes, and yet you can go out there now and register your cars again. Go out there, go out there, buy cars, buy new cars, buy used cars, but go out there and you will pay the old reduced license fee. That's what we are celebrating here today. Let me tell you, there's many other problems that we have in this state. We all know that California is facing an unprecedented financial disaster. The problems are sobering. The situation is urgent. 
and the need for action is immediate. This, this week I've introduced my California recovery plan. My recovery plan will get our financial housing in order and create jobs for our working men and women in the state of California. But there are three parts to my plan. My plan offers com workers' compensation reform, something that every business in California is crying out for. Everywhere I went on my campaign trail, small businesses, big businesses, farmers, factories, they all talked about the same thing, which is we have to have workers' compensation reform. Well, that's what my recovery plan is calling for. Number two, my plan also includes a fiscal recovery bond to pay off the inherited debt generated by the reckless spending of the politicians in Sacramento. Now, let me tell you something so you understand. There are many of them in Sacramento that say they are against this bond, this recovery bond. You know why? Because they want to increase your taxes. Mm. You see the politicians up there, all they know is increase the taxes when they get into trouble. What I say is we should have this recovery bond so we don't have to increase the taxes. But I need your help for that. I need you to call your legislators and say, we want to have Arnold's recovery package. We want his recovery plan. We want to have his bond, recovery bond, not you increase in taxes. You have to call your legislators. That's right. My plan also includes a constitutional spending limit so that the politicians never again get into this reckless overspending that they have done in the last few years. So, as I said, Democrats and Republicans have to work together on this. Yeah. We have to work together and unite in order to solve the problems in California. And this means that politics as usual has to die in order for California to succeed. Yeah. That is the problem, that is the bottom line here. And I am committed to bringing California back again. I will not fail you. I am committed to do everything I can to make this again the Gordon State that it once was. Now the legislators must approve this recovery plan by December 5th. Yeah. When they approve it before December 5th, then we can put it on a March ballot so you can vote on it. Now they may want to not have that done. They may do not want to have this on a March ballot because they don't want you to get the choice. They don't want you to vote on that because they want to increase your taxes. Ooh. So remember what I said, push your legislators, call them, send them emails, write them letters, let your voices be heard so they understand that the pressure is on. You have to do the job. You, the way I got here today by being governor is with your help. You have flexed your muscles on October 7th. We, we have turned everything around. We have taken the government back, but now is again the time to work together, to put the pressure on the skies in Sacramento. So go all out, because as I said in my Niro address, we have a massive weight to lift off the state of California. Alone, I cannot lift it, but together we can. And I thought, I know together we can. So you call them and you let them know that you want action and you want it now. Thank you very much. Thank you.